Crafting is too complicated. Well, it helps if you break it down. Okay, so the, 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 if you want to understand crafting, all you need to know is harvest is still very good. Even after all the nerfs, harvest is still very good. Because harvest allows you to reforge tags. This is a fire modifier. This is a cold modifier. This isn't a suggestion. This is a requirement. You cannot reforge an item if it cannot add one of these modifiers. For example, if I tried to craft a ring, but there was no fire resistance modifiers on the ring, it wouldn't even work. It would say, fuck you. Obviously, there are fire modifiers on rings, so you, it will, but that's my point. It's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a suggestion. This is a requirement. So, for example, right? I mean, let's just do a little, little quiz. What modifiers can roll on a ring if I do reforge fire? Right? Just look at the like, look at the webpage, right? Because I mean, this basic understanding of harvest will make you it'll it'll be like a uh, an epiphany if you if you actually like if you actually listen to what I'm about to say, it'll be like an epiphany. You'll be like, oh, yeah. So if I click fire, there's only three modifiers you can roll with fire, and so every time you do reforge fire, you have to have one of these modifiers. Now, what's really interesting if you just like click through the tags, right? Eventually, you'll find something akin to this. Where is it? You see, you see what you see what just happened. You see what just happened. So, if you reforge chaos, it can only roll chaos resistance. If you reforge caster, you can only get chaos uh, caster speed. So, essentially, this isn't a uh, reforge chaos. This is reforge chaos resistance on every on every single time. And caster is not reforge caster, this is reforge cast speed every single time. So that's step one. If you've understood this, that's step one. Step two is understanding how veiling works. And the, the and the implication between metamodding, suffixes, and prefixes. So suffixes have three suffixes, prefixes have three prefixes, right? What this means is if you have crafted your suffixes, right? If you have an item with three good suffixes and you're happy with that, you've decided, you know what, Chaos Res, Recoup, and Cast Speed, this is good enough. And you want to add Life. This works for, um, well, pretty much almost every single slot, but it works really well on, on Jewelry, specifically Rings. Um, and th there's a few things like this. Boots do this as well with Movement Speed. But let's say you want to get a Life Roll, right? Most of these, so if it says not available, this means you cannot get it through a Veiled Chaos. You have to get it through a master specific mod, aka it has to drop. So whenever you, if you do suffixes cannot be changed, this preserves the suffixes. And then you do a Veiled Chaos Orb, and this will add a Veiled Modifier. And it can also add more. You don't want it to add more though. You Hopefully you don't get more. But you want it to add a Veiled Mod. It can only unveil life, mana, 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 flat, flat, flat. Mana. But you can block mana before you unveil. If you've got mana on the item already, you can't unveil mana. So if you block mana, you block mana, 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 mana. Which, and guess, guess what? This means you can only get life, damage, damage, and damage. So like I said, this is an 83% chance to get life. So you can basically add life on any ring in the entire game, as long as it has one open prefix. Because you can just do suffixes is going to be changed, failed chaos, craft the ma uh, get that mana veil, boom, and then you just craft on the last prefix. So really, to craft this ring, all you need to do is get good suffixes. And remember, you can guarantee chaos and cast speed. So it's, uh, it means there's some really cool shit you can do with rings. Like you, you can make a ring like this in the gold net. You know what I mean? You can you can make a ring like this. You can't do it in Rizos because you don't have access to the you know the, the bench and everything, but. In the regular game, this is totally ss -evable. Yes, and it will cost all your divine orbs. Well, here's the thing you gotta understand, right? You can make something like two to five divine orbs an hour. So it only takes an hour to get the divine orbs to tr attempt this. And it has something like... To our next it has exchange. like an 80% success okay. rate. Got it. You just lock the prefixes. No. And then buy a crafted ring no, from Trade Easy. You lock the suffixes. 